What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossMertech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to create your first program, a Hello World program. Now this program you'll be able to print Hello World on the screen. Now the first thing we're going to need to do before we even do anything is uh, we're going to open up our file explorer, locate our C drive or our Windows drive, our main hard drive, right? Click into it. Now we want to create a folder in our C drive, right? Or wherever our Windows drive is located. And uh, we're going to right click and new folder, right? And uh, this is where all our programs or files are going to be st stored. Now the reason I uh, chose to save it on the C drive is because when we compile the program and uh, when we try to execute that program, we don't have to take too many steps to get to the folder. Uh, if it's in the root folder, there, there, there is a lot less steps, so it's just easier to do. So uh, your folder, you can name it whatever you want. You don't want you want to keep it short because then you got to type this in every time. So uh, I'll call mine, let's say test right you can name it whatever you want um, all right now we have to open up a text editor you can use any text editor you want I recommend you use notepad plus plus it's completely free it's geared towards programming languages It's completely optimized for programming languages and I'm gonna leave the download link in my description again it's free I highly recommend you use it I always use this when I uh, create programs so now we opened up our text editor right now we have to first click on file save as we gotta give our, uh, and we gotta find our location. We're gonna go to the C drive, right? Locate your C drive. In this case, uh, we gotta click on my PC, then find your C drive or your Windows drive, right? And locate the folder we just created. Uh, and it was test, right? So now we gotta give our file a name. You can name it whatever you want. And uh, as long as uh, it has a .java at the end, and I'll show you that in a second. But I'm going to name mine uh, test1. And uh, every uh, file you create has to have a .java. It's very important, or else uh, the compiler won't recognize it as a, a Java file, and it won't compile it. So and you can name it whatever you want. As long as it has that .java, you're good to go. So then you hit save, right? So now uh, we saved our file in our in the root directory, and uh, in our folder we created. I called mine test. You could call it whatever you want, and uh, I named mine test one. So, all right. So now let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're gonna need to do is type in our class blocks, and this is our class block. You have to type in public p u b l i c space class space again t uh, the name of our file. In this case, it's test one right all right your file name goes on top of here whatever you called this file you have to uh, add it on top of here I call my file test one so that's why I added it up here and the next thing we're gonna need to do is hit space and we gotta use this open brace this is the open brace here this curly brace whatever it's called and uh, we gotta end it with a closing brace or closing curly brace right and this thing here is called a class block right open curly brace up here next to the public class and it ends with a uh, closing curly brace right so each program you create has to have this and I'll talk more about classes later on but w whenever you create a program it has to have this now every Java program within a class it has to have a main method it's very important create a main method by typing in public Hitting space static, hit space void, hit space again, type in main. Then we're going to type in our uh, parentheses, open parentheses, right? Oh, now that's curly brace, open parentheses, right? And in the open parentheses, we're going to type in uppercase S, T R I N G, the string, uh, open bracket, close bracket. Remember, this is bracket, not curly brace. Uh, hit space a r g s and end it with a uh, closing parentheses right so then we have to hit space and use this open curly brace again right then we got to end this uh, main method with a closing curly brace right so whatever you method or class you create it has to have a starting brace this open brace here and a closing brace right so now we have four of them First one here is open and it closes down here, right? Within this public block here, or I'm sorry, within this class block up here, we have a method here, a main method. Each program has to have a main method. Later on, I'm gonna talk more about methods. You can create your own 
uh, method later on, but it, it, all programs have to have this main method, right? But in this class block, we have to have this method block here, right? And this is the method block here. We type in public static void main open parentheses string open bracket close bracket space args closing parentheses space open curly brace and then we end the main method with a closing curly brace so now we have four they call these blocks these curly braces in java programming now let's get started with the statement we're going to write a statement that will print hello world on the screen so this is going to be the system out statement here this will allow us to print whatever we want on the screen so we have to start off by typing in s capital s y s t e m right dot o u t dot print ln then we're going to have this open uh, parentheses then close parentheses end it with a semicolon very important every time we you end a statement a statement is basically something that takes action right it's, it's something you, that the program is doing right it's an action like printing out on the screen is an action right or adding something together would be an action so anytime you every time you end a statement it has to have this uh, uh, semicolon at the end right now in between this open and close parentheses we're going to type in whatever we want to print out on the screen and now we're going to type in a string so since we're typing in a string it has to have this uh, double quotes right you have to have two double quotes and uh, in between the two double quotes you have to type in whatever you want to print out in the screen any message i'm going to print out hello hit space world right so now this is a statement we created this is the system that out that print ln statement right in 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 this statement we have a string and uh our string is hello world and this should print out on the screen so let's test it out we're gonna hit save right now we're gonna close this here and now we're gonna open up our uh, command prompt you, to do that you could type in in the search right you could go in the search and type in cmd and hit uh, enter if you're running like Windows 7, you could type in start, and then in the, in the search bar that pops up in the bottom, you just type in CMD and this should pop up as well. Or uh, you can go to control panel and then uh, you go to accessories, system tools, and this should be uh, in there as well. But um, the first thing we're gonna need to do is we gotta locate our file, right? We gotta go to that file we created in the root directory. To do that, we type in CD, which is change directory, hit space, then we're gonna type in this forward slash. The forward slash is the root directory, hit enter. See, now we're in the root directory. This lets us know we're in the C drive root directory. Now we're gonna look for our file that's in the root directory. I called mine test, right? So to look into a directory, all you have to do is type in dir, hit enter, and it'll list whatever's in the directory itself, right? I'm looking for my test file here. And it should, uh, these are the names on the right here and it should be here somewhere here. This is my test file right here that I created. I wanna go into that f file. To do that, again, we have to type in CD forward slash, uh, then our file name, which is forward slash, then our folder name or our directory name. I named mine test, right? Hit enter. Now I'm in the test folder in the root directory, the C drive, right? This is where all the programs are gonna be stored. And this is where I saved my program file. So now we created a, uh, a program, right? We, we edited that program in our text editor and we saved it as .java, right? I saved my, I called mine test1.java. Now we have to compile that uh, file. Okay, to compile the file, we have to type in Java C for Java compile, hit space, type in our file name. Oh, I called mine test one dot java right make sure we have to add that dot java then we have to hit enter now it's compiling our file it compiled our file and we didn't get any error messages right if we got error message it wouldn't compile then uh you would it would tell you uh, where where the error was in the line and you would go back and fix it so now we got to run the program to run the program all you have to do is type in java hit space and our file name uh, which is test one, we don't have to add the .java anymore because the compiler converts the .java into a class, right? So something that the, the program can read. So now uh, we hit enter. And I, as you can see, it worked. They printed out hello world. So again, the, we opened up the command prompt, right? 
we located the folder where our program file was stored. Again, I recommend you guys save the, the folder in the root directory or the C drive so it's less, uh, less headache later on when you have to type in or keep moving into the different directories. And then uh, we, we, we locate the file, make sure the file is in that directory, then we have to compile it. To do that, we type in Java C for compile hit space. Our file name .java we created, then uh, we let it compile. If there is no errors, then we could run it. To run it, again, we typed in Java, hit space, then we typed in our file name without the .java. And then it we hit enter, and then it ran the file, it ran the program, and it worked. And it printed out, hello world. I'm going to go back to that text file right now. And I'm going to try to explain from the beginning how this whole thing works. Again, here, we. All programs have to have this uh, class block. We have to type in public class, right? Our file name we created, I called mine test1.java, but we don't have to add the .java here. We just add the file name, hit space, and we need this open curly brace, right? Then we, we have to have this ending curly brace. So this curly brace here and this ending curly brace here are, are the same block. Now in this uh, class here, we have the main method. Uh, we typed in public hit space static hit space void hit space. So we typed in main right. Open parentheses, uh, capital S, then lowercase t r i n g. That's string. Open uh, bra bracket here. Close bracket right. Hit space. Op open and close bracket are right, right next to the string. I did not hit the space right. After the closing bracket, we're gonna hit space. Then we're gonna type in a r g s closing parentheses hit space then i use this open curly brace here open brace right then uh, we end the main method with a closing uh, brace right so that's this is another block here so within the main method is where we type in our statements what, what we what we want the program to do right so this is a system out print statement so this prints the whatever you want on the screen so we typed in uh, system s y s t e m dot out dot print ln open and close parentheses and ended it with a semicolon remember all statements have to have a semicolon at the end or else the program won't work in between uh, the open and close parentheses we, we type in wherever we, we want to uh, print that on the screen right if it's a string a string or, or a group of words or any words if it's a string we have to use this double quotes in between two double quotes we then we type in our, our whatever we want right all right, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RustinFromRustinFromTech.com and thanks for watching.